What is going on guys, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and Pro Cycling Manager 2018. Today we are back with the Remco Evenepoel Pro Cyclist mode and we are of course fresh off our Belgium ITT National Championship victory. So in today's episode, we will start with the Tour de Valny. Um, it's a Belgian five day stage race, um, not particularly mountainous, which doesn't particularly suit us of course, uh, but I did want to do another race in Belgium, especially in this first season. And then if we go forward to August and September, don't actually have any races planned at all at the moment. Um, and then we'll come back for a few Italian classics and then Il Lombardia will finish out our season. As you can see, a fairly quiet end to the season for Remco. I didn't want to uh, push him too much in this first season. I wanted to just kind of introduce him to the pro, the pro world. Uh, the Pro Peloton, um, and then really in the second season we can push on, do more races and some bigger races as well. So looking forward to getting into the second season after this episode. So here is the start list for the Tour de Walny. Um, we have Kasper Askreen, very strong rider of course. Uh, Viviani will be our sprinter as well. Um, and here we are, Viviani, the favourite for today's stage. Uh, a flat stage, so I'll probably see you towards the finish line. So guys, the end of the stage is now near, just 7Ks to go. Uh, I'm hanging around towards the front. Askreen has just gone to get water, which is the worst timing ever. Um, but Viviani is right up towards the front. That's the most important thing. It's Wanty Group Gobert doing so much work on the front. That would be for Timothy Dupont, I believe. Um, I'm going to just stay here. Viviani can grab my wheel if he chooses to. Apart from that, I think we're fine just uh, riding right here towards the front of the peloton, making sure we finish in the front group, although we are blocked slightly. Let's up the pace now to 88. Viviani looks like he's just going to follow Dupont. Um, I'm just going to cruise in. Don't want to get in his way, I don't think. Uh, Wanty with a very good lead out for Dupont. Viviani, he goes to follow Van Poppel. Is that the right move? Not sure. I think it will be Timothy Dupont who takes the first stage. Big win for him. His team had the best lead out. Viviani second. Uh, will Jans finish third? Yes, Roy Jans third, and we will finish in the first group. So here we are for stage two, 203 kilometers, very long stage, um, and it's very, very hilly. As you see, I didn't realize it was going to be such a tough stage today, actually. Some really steep hills in here, um, and we're actually the fourth favorite. Um, Askreen is the second favorite, so hopefully one of us can get the win today. I'll see you on the start line. So guys, still 110k to go in the stage. There is a, uh, a nine man breakaway, just two minutes up the road. Pel Peloton is hunting them down pretty hard now. And I'm expecting a lot of action to start going off uh, in the Peloton as we hit these hills. So guys, still 66k to go. Uh, this stage is pretty brutal. Just 51 guys remain in the Peloton. Uh, we're still in, uh, just in the peloton, no attacks or anything just yet. Seven guys remain in the breakaway, they just have a minute's lead though. Um, I'm thinking about putting in an attack over this steep climb coming up soon, uh, so I'll probably see you around that time. Right guys, here we are coming downhill. Uh, it's Van, Van Gompel, Van Gompel leading the peloton down the hill. Uh, we're just entering, we're gonna come to the bottom of the climb in the lead of the peloton I hope. We're going to put, put in a very early attack on this climb as soon as it comes around. Upping the pace now to 87. It's a narrow road which will certainly help us. Now let's go. Let's try and drop some of these guys or at least put them in difficulty. Remco on the attack. It's a strong one as well. Uh, Bernas trying to follow. Not sure he's able to. Do we have a gap? Yes, we do. Right, now let's up it to 90. Stay like this. Let's try and maintain this gap. Put everyone else in difficulty. They are following for now. Um, but hopefully this will really wear down uh, some of the guys who were struggling before the climb. Another attack, can we push it over the top? We will get those mountain points, uh, which is of course very nice. Now let's relay at something like 80. We're not going to maintain this lead, but we do want to make sure everyone has to chase us down pretty hard. Uh, so maybe only the stronger men can chase us. Right, so here we go. There's a group of just nine riders behind us. Sadly, none of our teammates managed to get into that group. Um, I'm going to lower it to 75, we're not going to maintain this lead to the line of course, um, but yeah, we may as well uh, keep pushing on for now. Right guys, we've now been caught, there is a group of 25 here, is Del Tom attacking? I don't think he is, um, but you can see the guys here, uh, 24 riders, we've still got 4 teammates, although Viviani really struggling, and this is what uh, the attack has caused, guys like Davis and our teammate Viviani. They're struggling now for the rest of the stage to recover after that big attack from us. Uh, so hopefully that puts us in good stead for the rest of the stage. 
So 22 and a half K to go. We're now on this uh, penultimate climb. Um, I'm going to set some pace on the front, may as well attack, uh, see if they can follow, put them in more difficulty so we can uh, really thin out this group, hopefully at least. Um, looks like Shah can't follow, Chad Hager trying to follow. There you are, we're off the front again. Let's see who can catch us this time uh, as we reach the top. Uh, looks like Geshka's trying to, not able to though. Really strong today, uh, so I definitely want to make the most of this. Uh, it's a group of four behind us now. Maurice Demarkey and Tom Yelta Slatter are the only riders who've been able to make it up to this group. Although for some reason they're not really trying to work with me at the moment. Not sure why that is. Just a group of 13 behind with our uh, teammate Casper Askreen there. Um, I'll continue working at 70. Uh, although we've now been brought back into just 17 uh, as we will soon enter the final little punchy finish of the day. So guys into the final 10 kilometers of the stage. Group of 17 will come across the line together, it seems, although there is a steep finish, so maybe a few guys will drop off the back. There is this punchy uh, little hill before the final uh, final hill. Um, I'm not going to put in an attack this time. I'm gonna try and retain our energy uh, for the final sprint, basically, assuming it will come down to a final sprint. So here we go, we are about to enter this hill. It looks like there is an attack. Maurice attacks off the front. Let's try and follow DeMarkey. I don't want to close that gap. Let's uh, let Maurice go. Someone else can hunt him down if they want to. It's Slatter trying to get away. These guys, they're worried by Maurice. Um, trying to get in someone's wheel, but we'll just stay here for now. This looks pretty good. Maintain position on 85. Into the final 3.5k. Short downhill. Then it will be uphill to the line. Should have used my energy gel before now. Maurice is caught. That attack didn't work. Can we follow one of these guys? Maybe Marchinski will be a good wheel to follow as we enter the final 2k of this stage. Uh, Marchinski dragging us right towards the front of the peloton. Into the final 1.5k. Uh, let's keep this going. Let's up it to 89. Maybe 90 now, or is it too early? Maybe we can follow DeMarkey. I know he's a decent sprinter. DeMarkey's off. Uh, although DeMarkey in terrible position. DeMarkey died. Wrong wheel to follow. Should have just gone for it ourselves. Um, and it will be Timothy DuPont who takes the stage two in a row for him. Um, we will come across the line in the front group though. So sadly, that was a very disappointing end to the stage. Um, but we did some good work throughout the stage, thinned out the group and we're now seventh in overall. So let's see what stage three has in store. So stage three is classified as a hilly stage officially, um, although the finish is pretty flat. So not sure what we'll be able to do here. Let's see though, I'll see you on the start line. So guys, 15K to go in the stage, uh, still 77 men in the peloton, um, and there is still a breakaway up the road. I was hoping I could go for these mountain points. Doesn't look like that's gonna be possible though as the breakaway has already taken them. So let's just stay in the peloton. Uh, looks like this is now gonna come down to a sprint finish. So guys, we're now into the final 5K and the breakaway will actually take this stage. I was trying to do some work and bring them in. No one else would work with me though. A few of our guys were already dead from working so hard. Uh, so yeah, we'll just come across the line in the peloton. Uh, the breakaway about to take the stage and it will be Baptiste Plancart who takes it. Uh, let's just come across the line at 85. Make sure we stay in this front group uh, and that should be fine. So shame we couldn't give Viviani a chance at the stage there, uh, but we move on to stage four now. So stage four, 173 kilometers. It is a flat stage. Uh, so hopefully we can get Viviani to the finish line in the front group and he can win the stage. Let's see how it goes. 50k to go guys, I'm on the front with Kopecky and Honor. Don't want the breakaway taking today's stage, just under two minutes to them now. Looks like we should uh, reel them in comfortably in time for the finish line. So guys, into the final six and a half k, I am now on the front of the peloton, gonna use that energy gel, whereas Viviani, he's holding back for now. Are we going off the front? We're not far, you know, of going off the front ourselves. Let's up it to 85. We're running yo low on yellow, of course, after all that work we did earlier on. Um, where's Viviani gonna go? Is he gonna try and follow our wheel? I'm gonna hang about towards the front, may as well, uh, in case he wants to do that, although we are really seriously running out of yellow here. Um, 2.8k to go and it will be Bauman trying to lead out Van Poppel. Let's sprint with 1.9k to go. Maybe follow Jans. We can't quite do that. We're running really low on yellow. We're actually out of yellow. Can Viviani take the win? He looks in a great position today. Viviani versus Van Poppel. It's going to be close, but I think it will be... 
just about Elia Viviani taking the stage win. We finally get a stage win here in Belgium. Am I going to drop out this front group? I hope not. Um, hopefully these guys get the same time. Um, but yeah, really happy Viviani finally gets a win. So there were no gaps today, uh, which is of course good to see. We keep our top 10 place overall. Hopefully we can move up in the final stage tomorrow. But there he is, Elia Viviani finally with DQS atop the podium. So final stage guys, another flat stage, although there is a slightly punchy finish, uh, which will suit us of course more than a completely flat stage. Hopefully Viviani can challenge again though, if not we can. Uh, so yeah, shorter stage today, I'll see you on the start line. So 23k to go and the breakaway still has just under two minute lead. Uh, I've been doing some work on the front as you can see by my depleted yellow. Hopefully we can bring them in before the finish but this looks like it'll be touch and go to be honest. So here we are guys, just 9k to go. The breakaway still have a minute lead. Looks like they're gonna take this one as well, to be honest. Tony Martin doing everything he can to bring uh, a chance for Don Danny Van Poppel. Um, but yeah, six men up the road. I think they've got this one. There is that steep finish, so I'm just gonna sit in the peloton now. I've done enough work today, to be honest. Um, and yeah, we'll see if this gets brought in. I am voting at the moment for a breakaway victory. Although here they are, Van Gotham attacking in the breakaway. As you see, maybe we can put in an effort on this climb. Uh, let's really try and bring them in. Here we are, we're leading the peloton. Can anyone follow us? No, we're off on our own by the looks of it. Don't know how that's quite happened. Um, to be honest, we don't want that. We just want to wait for Viviani. It's not going to work though because the peloton, or well, Van Gotham has got a, a gap on the breakaway. It looks like he's going to take it actually. Um, I'm going to cruise down this hill, wait for the peloton to catch us up. Um, I'm trying Remco uh, or Elia, uh, but it looks like it's going to be for the breakaway today. I am afraid just 1k to go for the breakaway. They're sprinting for it. I think Van Gotham could be done. Let's go up to 90, sprint for it now. Um, who's going to take it in the breakaway? This Van Gotham guy, he's going to take the victory, I think. Yes, a very good win for him. He takes it ahead of uh, that guy. Can't pronounce his name. Um, and yeah, sadly, no victory for the team. So guys, that rounds out the Tour de Wallonie. Brian van Gotham wins for Lotto Sudau. The final stage, they ended 26 seconds clear of the peloton. Couldn't quite reel them in, although Viviani, he wasn't the best in that sprinty finish or, or punchy finish anyway. Timothy Dupont wins the Tour de Wallonie. A great victory for him. Ahead of his teammate, Zandro Maurice as well. We finish in 10th place. Pretty solid stuff. And Brian van Gotham actually takes the mountains jersey in the end. Very, very close. Um, this competition and Timothy Dupont just takes the points competition ahead of Elia Viviani by two single points. So guys, that rounds out the Tour de Wallonie. Really enjoyed this race. Um, don't think we'll be doing many races like this in the future. So nice to do um, a kind of non-mountainous stage race in Belgium. Uh, so yeah, let's see what you have in store for us next. So since the Tour de Wallonie finished, I thought I'd catch you up on the Tour de France, which has just finished as well. And it was Chris Froome who did win ahead of his teammate Garrett Thomas. Vincenzo Nibley close, just two minutes down. Uh, Bardet and Port round out the top five. Um, disappointing for Roglic and uh, Tom Dumoulin. But yeah, again, Sky with two men on the podium, a dominant performance by them. So guys, I was actually looking at the schedule and I did decide to add one more race um, and it is the Vuelta a Burgos. There are two mountain stages, uh, which will of course suit us. Ivan Romero Sosa, the reigning champ. Mikhail Lander won it the year before. Uh, so yeah, should be a fun race. And then that will round out this episode. And in next episode, we'll go through these Italian classics and then kind of round out the season, sum it up, get a look at all the transfers and stuff um, ahead of season two. So we are now here for the start of the Vuelta a Burgos. Uh, you can see the first stage classified as a hilly stage. Um, slightly punchy finish as you see. Uh, with regards to our team, we have Viviani for the sprints um, and it does look like we'll be the leader in the GC, um, although that will be tough because there are some very good riders here, the likes of Soler, Lander, Conrad, Betio. Uh, so yeah, let's jump into the stage. So with the stage underway, let's take a look at the start list for the race. Um, we can see Lander, leader for Movistar, Betio will lead Education First, Micah, Conrad are here for Bora, um, strong team for Astana as well with Izagiri, Freile, Sanchez, Zacharin here for Katusha. We have Daryl Impey, uh, Pierre Latour will lead Ajituala Mondial. Um, you can see some other good riders here, Gino Marda, very good young rider. 
Fabio Aru leads uh, UAE. Uh, Higueta's here as well. So pretty strong start list. Landa probably the favourite for the overall. Maybe someone like Micah or Zacharin. Or maybe even Remco could challenge. Let's see. So guys, here we are. Still 13k to go in the stage. We are approaching this mountain sprint. Don't think I'm going to go for it though. I will stay towards the front of the peloton though. Uh, so let's just go 80 for now. Um, I did have Morkow protecting us. He's out of position though, sadly. Um, it is Chad Hager currently on the front. Um, and I have had a look at the finish here. Um, it is a very, very short climb, kind of with a short plateau in the middle as well. Um, so hopefully uh, someone else can give us a lead out or we can grab someone's wheel uh, ahead of the final few hundred meters. So guys, now just 6K to go. Uh, we are on this final flat section. I've got Michael Morkow's wheel. Very good wheel to have actually. Although he's not the best hill rider, he can sprint pretty well. Let's use that energy gel, pick up the pace with Morkow. Hopefully this works. Um, he's keeping us in a very good position for the moment. Don't want to use too much energy before that climb. Let's go back down to 80 on Morkow. MP in a very good position at the moment. So is Betio. Uh, Chernetsky's here as well. Can't see Lander. There is Lander. He's towards the front. Um, now let's slowly up it up to 90 now. Want to stay right on the front of the peloton. We're approaching the short first climb. Let's go 99 with Morkow. 1k to go. Let's sprint with Morkow. Can he take us towards the front? He's doing a very good job. Now let's sprint off his wheel. 500 meters to go. Can Morkow take the stage? Don't think so. Looks like it will be Andrea Bettio. What a win for him. Comfortably in the end. Chernetsky second. And we just take third ahead of Prades and Gorka Izagiri. Very good stage for us here. So we do hold the white young riders jersey uh, four seconds ahead of everyone else uh, with that time bonus for coming third. So very good stage to start the race for us in that podium spot. I realised, I think I called him Andrea Betiol, but Alberto Betiol, great win for him. Very dominant in that final sprint. Let's take a look at stage two. So we do get 20 points for that good finish in the stage. Just six points to go to level 12 now. So quick look at stage two, 151 kilometers. Um, there is a short hill towards the beginning, but it looks like it's classified as a flat stage. So we can expect the sprinters to take this and hopefully Elia Viviani can take the win. So guys, we are now into the final 10K of the stage. It's been a very fast day. Uh, the breakaway were caught pretty early. It looks like this is definitely gonna be a sprint finish. Um, there is a slight uphill, then it comes into a very um, steep downhill finish really. We're making our way right towards the front of the peloton, Viviani up here as well. Um, can I follow someone's wheel? Maybe Selig would be a good wheel. Um, can we get on his wheel even? It's gonna be tough. Use that energy gel with 6K to go. Um, I don't really want to follow Selig, not in the best position at the moment. Let's try and move up slightly closer towards the front. Um, Izagiri being put in a very good position. Same with Magnus Court Nielsen. Viviani right towards the front. He's in a very good position for us. Here's Moretzko. Maybe we can follow his wheel. Um, the man who can never make it to the end of a stage. This one's been okay for him. Here he is at the finish line. Let's try and follow his wheel. Here we're, we're breaking up this train really because Rusen and Drucker, they're going to be competitive in the sprint. Um, unlike us, I'm going to sprint now maybe. Uh, Moretzko has lost Geshka's wheel. Let's sprint. It's a downhill finish. Can Viviani catch Geshka? Simon Geshka, he went for it. And will he take it? I don't think so. It's going to be very close. Oh, and Elia Viviani steals it from him. What an end to the stage that was. Simon Geshka went for it early, took advantage of that downhill. And Elia Viviani just stole it from him on the line. What a finish there to stage two. So really enjoyed that stage actually, guys. Um, really fun finish with Geshka, almost stealing it. 76 downhill, really took advantage of that at the end. Uh, but Elia Viviani, too strong for him, ahead of all the sprinters as well. Let's take a look at stage three. All right, guys, here we are for stage three and it's the first mountain stage of the race. Really steep finish to this one. Mikel Lander starts the day as favorite. We're not on the favorites list though, so let's see if we can challenge some of these guys. So guys, stage well underway now. We're 120k still from the finish line though. Uh, we are approaching the very first climb of the day. Breakaway has just a one minute lead. Um, I've got control of the whole team, but sadly we do have a minus one day on probably the most important day of the race. Um, I'll probably see you towards the, the end climb. Don't think we'll see too much action. Don't think any of these climbs are long enough to force any real action amongst the GC guys. All right, guys, 11K to go in the stage. It's been a pretty hectic day. Just 69 remain in the peloton. 
Um, I don't think that does justice quite how tough this day has been, to be fair. Been so many, been so much pacing throughout the day. Breakaway was caught really early and a breakaway didn't really establish itself after that. Um, we can see the final climb really coming up and it is so, so steep. Here we are, we're entering it now. James Knox will protect us for the beginning. I'm gonna set these guys right towards the front. They can try and maintain position there. Let's up the effort to 80. Uh, really want to stay towards the front, especially at the beginning. Let's try not to get boxed by Daryl Impey there. Um, we're doing an okay job. We're not in the best position, dropped off too early, um, I think. James Knox getting blocked slightly. He's not gonna last very long. He's having a bad day, James Knox, like we are actually. Um, might drop Petr Vakoc back slightly. Let's put these guys 85. They're in a good position. They can stay there for now. Um, maybe we can lower our pace to 80. Um, Knox is done. He's not going to catch us. Let's put Vakoc on us now. Askreen having a great day though. He can really protect us later on in this uh, climb. Only 5k to go. It's a pretty short climb. Important not to get blocked though. Um, here we are. We're in a good position. Uh, Movistar look really, really strong though. Soler protecting Lander. Two really, really strong riders. Vakot struggling to stay with us somewhat. 47 still left, but you can see guys are dropping off all the time. Vakot is about to be done and there are attacks going off. Here we are. Let's up the pace now. Askri needs to try and keep us here. Here we go. Let's go to 95. Um, stay with these guys. I think we're going to just about do it, are we? Um, Oh, I don't want to close that gap myself. We've lost these guys. We've lost our screen. This isn't ideal at all. 3k to go. There's a group of six up the road. We're behind them. We're going to have to use our energy gel. Not sure we can go 85 to the end, to be honest. Group behind us, some way behind. They're all done, it looks like. We're going to have to try and catch these guys ourselves. We were slow to react, and that's really put us in a bad way. We're going to have to drop this. Uh, let's go 75 now. Um, how steep is it? Really, really steep. Over 10%. We've gone past Chinetsky, he's burnt himself out too early. I um, think we're going to have to slow this even more, to be honest. Now Betio, he will lose yellow today. Lander, Conrad, Harada and Nieve will contest the stage, it looks like. Lander versus Conrad, I think they're the strongest men today. We've just about caught Andrea Betio, uh, but the pace here is... The steepness is absolutely absurd here. We need it to go below 10%, let's just drop it to 60. Um, if you guys catching us, Raul Alakan, he's on a good day. Uh, but yeah, it looks like Conrad versus Lander for the stage here. So here we are, 500k to go. It is Lander versus Conrad up the road. We need to try and out-sprint uh, Alberto Betio. I don't know why I keep saying that. Um, but it does look like, oh my word, oh my word, what a win by Raul Alocorn. I do not believe that. He's somehow stolen it from Lander and Conrad at the end. We pull away from Betio somewhat. Sixth place, not too bad on a minus one day. I do not believe that. Raul Alacon takes it from Lander and Conrad at the very end. He was right by us with about one, one and a half cases to go. We finish one minute and seven seconds down though. Not too bad on a poor day for us in the race day condition. So Raul Alacon takes the yellow jersey. We're in sixth position in this competition as well. We are actually second in the points jersey just behind Alberto Betio. Doing pretty well here. And we retain the white jersey. Now almost two minutes clear of our teammate Askreen and Ben O'Connor. I honestly can't get over that finish. Raul Alacon, he had all the energy in the world. He flew up the mountain, past Lander, past Conrad, who should be so much stronger than him. Unbelievable finish to the stage. Um, and like I said, sixth place, really a decent result, I think, considering our race day condition. So stage four is a flat stage, um, but there is a false flat at the end. Although I definitely think Viviani should be able to take this in a sprint. Let's see if he can do it. So guys, just 8k left in the stage. Breakaway is still 30 seconds clear. Don't think these guys have it in them to bring them in. I'm gonna to have to do some work on the front maybe. Let's go to the front on 85. Um, are they gonna bring them in in time? Doesn't look like it at the moment. I'm gonna just up my pace here. Uh, try and just go 90. Let's see, look, these guys don't have the same pace that we do. Let's really on the front, um, 88. Push the tempo really fast. Is that Bol trying to attack? I think it is. Bold trying to attack off the front. What an attack by him. He moves up to the breakaway. 4k to go. They still have the lead. We need to up this to 90. Viviani on our wheel momentarily. Uh, is Marekto at the front? He should be here. Don't see him for the moment. We're going to look like we're going to try and lead out uh, Viviani as the breakaway are caught with just 2k to go. Let's sprint now. Don't have anything left. Can Viviani get the win today? Let's see what he's got. Viviani 
versus Adam Blythe, Timo Rosen. Does Elia Viviani have it in him? It's going to be very close. And yes, Elia Viviani takes it ahead of Timo Rosen. Good win for him, his second of the race. Great stuff there. We really helped bring the breakaway in as well. There's our man Elia atop the podium for the second time this race. Very nice indeed. So we actually got two points from that race to push us to level 12. I'm going to use it on stage races. Uh, we don't really get a big level up at all here. Here's our new stats. As you can see, not a big change, uh, we, but we do get that 76 mountain, which will really help us. Okay, guys, the final stage of the race is here, and it is, of course, a mountain stage. Uh, Mikel Lander will be looking to take that yellow jersey from Raul Alacon of the Porto team. I'm really interested to see if he can perform so well again today after somehow winning stage three. Um, we're not on the favourites list, uh, but we'll see if we can maybe move into the top five or even the podium. Let's see if we can do that. I'll see you in the stage. So guys, still over 30k to go in the stage. Um, but I'm just going to update you quickly. There's a 10-man breakaway. Zacharin up the road. He is five minutes down, though. Same with Aru, five minutes down. Potentially dangerous uh, riders, though, for the stage. Only have just under two minutes at the moment, though. Everyone's staying right towards the front. Uh, we'll soon be approaching the final climb and a very, very steep finish. So, guys, 15k to go now. I've got Cavagna, Morcal, and Viviani on the front doing some work, trying to bring this breakaway in. I didn't mention we're on a plus three day, though. Very, very nice day for Ramco. Maybe we could even challenge for the stage, feeling very optimistic. Uh, so I do want to make sure the, the breakaway are brought in or uh, have a really tough chance to win the stage. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go for this train tactic today, the much hated train tactic on the mountain. Um, didn't feel like it worked out too well last time. Uh, so I've got Vakoch, Knox and Askreen. Just a four-man train, not too not too long. Don't want to do the whole team or anything. Don't think Cavagna, Viviani or Morka would be particularly useful on this mountain um, as we're slowly entering it now. Just staying towards the front with Vakoch. We don't need to go much more than 80 unless anyone else picks up the pace, which it looks like they are now. It looks like Andre Amador takes it up on the front for Movistar. So guys, 8k to go. Looks like the breakaway are basically done. There it is. Wonder if there'll be any attacks. I'm going to set these guys to just maintain position. They can cruise in. Vakoc takes it up on the front on 85. Really want to push the pace to start this climb. Uh, it's slowly getting steeper. Not too steep yet, about 4.5%. That will pick up though. Uh, so I do want to make it tough for our competitors. Let's go 80. Um, Amador on the front. Some Movistar guys expecting a big stage from Lander. And he's off already. Let's up the pace. Can we follow them? I'm going to just stick on this train. Let's try and make sure Lander can't get away. Alicon trying to protect his yellow jersey. Um, I'm going to try and stick in this stage, uh, in this train as long as possible. Um, although maybe we can go to Knox now. So got James Knox now on the front of the train for quick step. Uh, Vakoch basically done for the day. Is Aguirre trying to get away? Just 4k to go. Um, maybe I can up the pace more, you know. Let's go with Askreen now. Let's push it to 95. Oh, we've been blocked terribly. This is a nightmare. Avenapool trying to follow Askreen for as long as possible. Betiol trying to get away from Izagiri. This is the steepest, steepest part of the climb, so I don't want to go too fast up here. Let's go 90. Landon not far up the road. Going to use that energy gel with just 3k to go here in a decent position with Remco. Let's try and hold Askreen's wheel as long as possible as he tries to drag us up this 12% section. So here we are, just 2k to go. We're going to have to go ourselves now. Good job by Askreen. Uh, let's go up to 90. No one has managed to get clear though. Um, hopefully I can get through these guys. Let's just get Askreen. He's maintaining very nicely. Alicorn looks like he may be able to hold on to yellow. Betiol doing his best. Uh, there's Lander here. We're sitting on his wheel for a moment. Um, Maybe let's come off it. 1.1k to go. It's a really tough climb now. People dropping away. Izagiri dropping away. Guessing going past Alicorn who looks to be struggling now. Let's grab onto his wheel for a second. Let's up it now. Sprint to the line. Have we got the gap on Lander and Conrad? Yes, we do. Remco Evenepoel takes the final stage. What a finish there for Remco Evenepoel. Ahead of Lander, Conrad and Guessing who round out the top four. So Alicorn comes in in fifth, around 35 seconds down. Don't think we've done enough to take yellow, uh, but still very good stage for us here. There we are atop the podium of the Vuelta a Burgos. I think that's our third professional win. 13 seconds clear of Lander, Conrad and Gessink in the end. And Mikael Lander takes the yellow jersey. He wins the Vuelta a Burgos for Movistar. We end up in fourth place, 52 seconds behind. A very good performance by us today, I think. 
Raul Alacon takes the mountain jersey and we are third despite being on the same points. I remember this happening in a race not too long ago with Adam Yates as well. This happened again. Oh well, not too big a deal. Betty Ole takes the points jersey. We come in second in this competition. And we take the white jersey, of course, three minutes clear of our teammate Askreen. There it is. What a day for Remco. 13 seconds ahead of Lander, Comrade and guessing Raul Alcon with a very respectable fifth place. Ending up third in the GC. What a race for him. Shame he couldn't hold on to yellow. Um, but we outclassed some decent climbers here. Um, yeah, really, really happy with how strong we were. Surprised Lander couldn't win a stage on this race. He's by far the best climber here when you look at the mountain stat. But we rode that race perfectly, I feel. We waited on Askreen's wheel. Didn't panic. He took us up the mountain as others attacked. And we pounced in the final 500 meters. Really pleasing stage today. So one final look at the GC here. Fourth place. Uh, you can see all the other guys if you're interested in that. Let's see if we get any points for this race. 94 points. Very, very nice indeed. Expected to be in the top 15. End up fourth. Very strong performance, I feel. So guys, that'll round out this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Drop a like and a comment down below for me if you did. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next one.